year 2020 saw a lot of games released. A lot of games get some updates to possibly make one or two of them more playable, and Pokemon Arceus looked like... Narceus. But what was the game of the year multiple times over, and has had more lip service this month than almost any other? I won't beat around the bush, it's Elden Ring. Nothing comes close to the world exploration, the gameplay, and the fact that everyone else is giving this one gob jobs right about now means you already know all of this. That isn't to say it isn't worth it simply because gaming's own Ryan Gosling gave the award to Miyazaki-san, his translator, and that one kid. It is the formula of the Soulsborne genre personified, and it made it a finely ground powder that I will continue to be snorting for many years and months to come until the next game. Every moment is an adventure. And while we can argue over the genres of some games, I'll say it now, Elden Ring is plainly an adventure RPG. None of this action nonsense we attach to games like Death Stranding to make it feel like it's the same as everyone else, it is plainly adventure. Deeper than the pit of depression that the plots of these games tend to imbue on you, there is always something to explore, something to uncover, and something more to learn. If there was one game that had infested my mind and kept me thinking about it for far too long, it has to be Elden Ring. Closely followed by Immortality. Can you talk about what happened with your previous movie? Now, I'm sure everyone here has read about this or heard the gossip. 